morning I'm heading to Fleetwood Pike. It's really foggy in the valleys, so I am praying and hoping I'm crossing all my fingers and toes for an inversion. And I hope, well it will be an inversion somewhere, I've just got to get high enough. I've just missed my turning. I've just got to get high enough. So I'm hoping Fleetwood Pike will be. Catch you later. is frozen ground. Oh my god, I don't know how I'm going to get down there. This is icy. Good morning. <laughs> that was the scariest drive of my life. <laughs> oh my god. I was coming up Honister Pass and it had zero on my dash at the bottom of the valley starting Honister Pass. Oh, and there's been a lot of rain lately and at the just before you crest the coal where you've got Hunters to Slate Mine, it was sheer ice. And the steepest section, oh my God, my wheels were spinning, I was sliding, oh my God. Oh, my heart was in my mouth. <laughs> Seriously, if it doesn't melt later on, I don't know how I'm gonna get down. I really don't. <laughs> oh, the things you do to get an inversion. Oh, but I'm here. And Honest the Slate Mine. This was my second choice because I was going to do Rhino's Pass. Thank God I didn't do Rhino's Pass because that would have been a death trap going up there. So, my second choice, Honest the Slate Mine. I'm going up Fleetwood Pike. I'm really hoping for an epic inversion on the summit of Fleetwood Pike, but at least it looks like it's clear. That's where we're going up there, and that's clear. Catch you later. Even the uh, National Trust car park paying machine is frozen solid. Ah, got it to work. Look at this, guys. That's where we're heading up there.
Billy, come here. That's where we drove up. That's where it's like a sheet of ice coming up that road. A sheet of ice. <laughs> don't know how I'm going to get back down there later on. I really don't. Train is going to melt. Anyway, catch you later. So you head up this track. This is what the bus uses to take people onto the Via Ferrata. And about 50 yards from the car park, by the donation box of the Nineteen Rescue, you head up by this back, up these steps. A broken spectre there. A broken spectre. Well, the fog bow, inversion, and broken spectre. Wow! That's just in ten minutes of the start of the walk. bow behind me. I just had a broken spectre. Inversion. What a day already. <laughs> wow. These are the days that you just dream of. Yeah, you've got to take your life in your hands to actually get to these places when it's ice on the road. <laughs> oh. Just hoping it will melt. Worth nearly crushing the car. So we're going up to the gun house now. As I mentioned earlier, it's the quarry track. So Dub's quarry. This is the route onto Fleetwood Pike, also over to Haystacks. You can go up there onto Grey Knots. Now there's a thought. Brand Reth, 
up onto Green Gable, eventually onto Great Gable. But we're going over there, Fleetwood Pike. Well, that's not Fleetwood Pike, that is Black Star, is it? Or Honister Crag. It's where they top out when they do the Via Ferrata onto there. But we will be going up there in a bit. But yeah, this is the drum house. Look at this. Imagine the horse and carts coming up this track in the olden days. got a fire in there now so they should be nice and cozy for them they've got their wood but now we've reached the quarry track drum house there's a path just past the highest point on the drum house bit off to the right so you can go to the right over to flute with pike you can go left of the Grey Knots and Brand Reth and Green Gable if you so desire or straight on to Haystacks but we are going to flip with Pike first so we're heading down this boggy moorland track it's not that bad today because it's frozen solid but this will lead you to the other quarry track which the working machinery use obviously it's still a working quarry still a working mine a mine slate here so there's the main working quarry track you can use that to ascend feet with pike and avoid the path I used up onto drum house it's so probably a bit easier underfoot well I'm going to maybe descend that way there's the working quarry now you don't go far up this track 20 yards or so you don't reach that bum shackle iron hut we turn off somewhere on the right just here before you get to that heap of gravelly stuff whatever that is onto a faint grassy trod takes you onto black star and hunster crag now i've actually gained a bit of height it is so mild and warm. This is what happens when you get inversions. I think, I'm not too sure how they form, but I think it's when it's colder in the valleys and warmer on top. Because the pressure pushes the cloud down. Is that right? I'm not sure. If I'm wrong, leave me a comment because it would be good to know how inversions actually form. But all I know is that at Honester Mine, it was freezing, bitterly cold. Up here, I'm in my t-shirt. Right, so this track, you pass this strange aerial thing. I have no idea what it is. Again, if anyone knows what it is, leave a comment. Is it an aerial of some sort? Is it a weather detecting? thing god knows i don't know 
<laughs> so you head up this grassy track, keep going, keep going, and you pop out onto Hamasa Crag. the crag. Now, it isn't a wine right? But then you get best view down into Honester Pass. Glassmoor, Robinson, Hinsgarth, or Hinesgarth, however you want to say it. Over onto Dale Head. Down to Hunster and the Hunster Pass. That's the Via Ferrata down here, right down there. So we're still on the summit of Hunster Crag. Look at that. Really careful. Billy might even have his own halo. What do you reckon, Billy? That's the summit of Honest Crag. Dale Head. Down Honest Pass. Wow. There's Fleet with Pike over there. Great Gable, I think my finger's there, there. Pillar. Haystacks underneath Pillar. Just peeking out, you can just see it. Wow. We've had three days of inversions now. Look at it over to the west coast. Literally just the little tops peeking out. So I chose well today because I'm not that high here. So lucky. Very lucky. Just trying to work out what they would be. So that would be Melbreak. Doesn't it look small? This looks like it's about 50 metres high. And that's it. Imagine being on the top of Melbreak right now. You'd be surrounded by clouds like being in heaven haystacks is that there's so much interest you've got these paths meandering through these heathery rocky knolls you've got little patches of bog and little tiny tarns on a day like today it's all frozen solid well probably wouldn't take much actually for Billy to actually go in
sorry, I'm undefeated. Oh, jumping out of my skin. What to me down there? Melbourne just peeking out the top of it. High style, high crag, pillar, haystacks in the foreground. Kirkfell, Great Gable. Yeah, I believe it. Oh, the past is everything we were. Don't make us who we are. So I'll dream until I make it real. And all I see is stars. It's not until you fall that you fly. When your dreams come alive, you're unstoppable. Take a shot, chase the sun, find the beautiful We will go in the dark, turn it dice to go And we'll dream impossible Possible I will chase, I will reach, I will fly Until I'm breaking, until I'm breaking Out my cage like a bird in the night I know I'm changing, I know I'm changing it Into something big, better than before And if it takes, takes a thousand lives Then it's worth fighting for not until you fall that you fly When your dreams come alive, you're unstoppable Take a shot, chase the sun, find the beautiful We will go in the dark, turn it dice to go And we'll dream impossible guy at the top of Fleetwith. He's come up from Buttermere going up Fleetwith Edge and uh, he's doing the whole horseshoe round going over to Haystacks then up High Crag, High Style, over to Red Pike and Great Ball. He says he's trying to do the Wainwrights, all of the Wainwrights in one year. And he was saying that he drove up Newlands Newlands Pass or Newlands went that way for some reason. But anyway, we said it was really icy. It reminds me of a time when uh, me and Andy, a couple of years ago, driving up um, up to Newlands and uh, to do cat bells. And it was sheer ice on a bend, on a really steep, sharp bend. And the water had been coming down and it was just frozen solid and we got stuck. Absolutely stuck, just wheel spinning and wheel spinning. Couldn't get up. We had to pull over and luckily Andy had some salt. Some road salt in the back of his car. And he had to put his yak tracks on. Because it, getting out of the car it was just absolutely thick, sheer eyes. And he was sliding all over the place. So he had to put his yak tracks on just to get out of the car to get to the salt. Anyway, cut a long story short, we finally managed to get up the hill <laughs> and summit cat bells for sunrise. Just thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> right, we're just heading down off Fleetwood Pike now. We're heading for Dub's Quarry and Dub's Hut Buffy. You fly. When your dreams come alive, you're unstoppable. Take a shot, chase the sun, find the beautiful. We will go in the dark, turn it dice to go.
to Dub's Quarry now. There's quite a few paths coming down from Fleetwood Pike into this quarry once you actually get near it. You just want to follow the easiest ground and there is the bothy. I'm not sure if those two lads are going to be in there at the moment. We're camping overnight in there tonight. That's the track back to Dub's to um, Drum House on the slate mine. On the slate mine. to do Piker Blisco this morning from Rhinos Pass as I did Piker Blisco three days ago with Andy and uh, we had no views on the top it was thick clag on the top but we went down a way we've never done before um, via is it Black Crag and Long Crag right down to Rhinos Pass and it was such a lovely route we had all these fantastic big boulders just resting on top of rocks and it was fantastic because the sun came out and lit up the mist all golden and these big boulders were looming out of this golden mist it was fantastic but when I got home I've had issues with my SD card well I think it's my SD card because I've lost 60 videos all just disappeared with no trace so I was absolutely gutted. So I was going to go back there this morning because I knew there was going to be an inversion. But we had cold temperatures in the valleys with ice. So I wasn't prepared to drive up by nice path with freezing temperatures. As it was, it was bad enough going up Hynasta Pass at the top. But with Pike is still lovely, had a beautiful inversion. So I had inversion, tick, fog bow, tick, and broken spectre, tick. <laughs> Can't wish for more than that. So I'm heading away from Dub's Hut now, up the track, back to Honest Slate Mine, and uh. Dub's house. Freezing fog is back down here, and the path was really icy on the way up. So, we're going to head down this proper track that the working vehicles use for the quarry. Goodbye. 
hope you enjoyed this video hope you like if you do put a like put a thumbs up put a comment and all of that <laughs> see you again soon bye for now i think in hindsight it's probably the wrong thing to do coming down this working track because it's thick fog and if a great big vehicle comes up this track it's just enough room for the vehicle and that's about it so we're trying to get down as quickly as we can <laughs> because um he's not going to be able to see us in this mist until he's right up on us so i don't know does anyone know with the via ferrata do they still run it when it's freezing fog and you can't actually see the drop that you've got that would be a cool time for me to do the via ferrata in freezing fog well no not freezing but fog so you couldn't see how far the drop is <laughs> that'd be perfect for me so does anyone know if they still run it in fog <laughs>